Hey guys, welcome back to another Ignis Quick Tips video. Today I want to talk to you about FX in your track. So let's say you've loaded in a load of samples into your track and you've applied a load of effects to each one of your samples and now you've found out the fact that there's a problem and you're trying to track down the problem. So is it in the original sample or is it in the FX that you've applied? Sometimes you want to turn off different effects just to see what it sounds like. Turning them off individually one by one just to see what kind of effect they add. But what if you want to completely remove them in a flash without sitting here and clicking each one of these individually? If you've got 10 or 15 samples with all different effects on them, it can be a bit time consuming to turn them all off at once. Well, that's what this little orange switch down here on your mix is for. If you don't see this, just go ahead and change your format. Today we're using compact. You're going to see this little orange switch. If I was to turn this off, this turns off all the effects currently applied to that channel. So these are your effects listed left here. If you don't know how to flip this from left and right, we're going to do it in another video, but quickly you can go ahead and grab it in the section down here. So once you've done that guys and you can turn it on and off, you begin to see whether you have delayed or whether you've not, or whether you have fired an effect or not, or whether the effect itself is causing the problem, or whether the main sample itself is causing the problem. Hope this helps you in the future guys, and don't forget to check back with us soon. All again, bye bye.